are at Big Lots this morning. I haven't been here in so long. It's not super close to our house. In fact, it's about uh, almost, almost an hour away, 45, 50 minutes. Um, oh yeah, and look at that sky. Ooh, look at that sky. So I'm gonna hurry in, but uh, we're gonna see what they have for fall and whatever goodies they have. So let's go. Kind of early for the fall things but they do have a few things out so we'll just get a little bit of that oh these are cute put them in a little um wooden bowl or something those are sweet i like this and these little grateful and thankful pumpkin spice love these are pretty, you know, the little, oh, these are cute. They kind of look like little books. And if you wanted to put something up on them, see how much those are. Okay, those are $12. Huh, and if you don't want to use them for fall, there is room on the other side. You could paint something else like Christmassy. Hey, that is not a bad idea. Mm -hmm -hmm. This is cute. I like this. Let me see how much that is. Now that's 20. That is absolutely adorable. One piece. Oh, and here's a pretty swag up here. I like that. If you're going for the black and white theme, which seems to be very, very popular this year. Okay, again, here is the fall. Um, well, another fall aisle. Looks like they're going to have several of them. And they're just starting to get their boxes out because they're early. I'm early. But look at the cute stuff already. These pumpkin, these um, pillows are so pretty. Let's see how much those are. Let's say, oh, $12. You know, that is really not bad. Sometimes they're as much as $25. That's cute. Now, this is something you could have all year round. Really? Let's see how much that is. Oops. That is, um, I hope you have big lots around you somewhere. That's 14. That is not bad either. And I like that green, green color. Gather and give thanks. Of course. Some little boxes up there you could put something in. Looks kind of leathery. Give thanks. Oh, there's some glass pumpkins with little gold loopy looped tops on cute all right here's some sweet things right here and again here's the sign this is how they do their little demos of what all the cute stuff that's coming that I missed out on today I can't believe it but I see there's or the stock is here it is just not out but we'll just look at what they do have 
This is cute, little pumpkin. That's very cute. That's that crackle glass. You know, it's quite heavy too, that's 14. Very sweet. And here's another one of those signs, fall. Sweet fall. And that is $8. That's not too bad. Guys, the prices here are not bad at all. And I think the quality, oh, well, that's kind of nice. If you had the perfect decor for that, nice long tail. You know, that could really be nice on a fall tablescape. Kind of tucked in somehow. One on each side. Now, yeah, somehow I think you could work that one out. Happy fall with the black and white theme and a little bit of eucalyptus. I like that. I think that's sweet. All right, here's those little trucks. I know a lot of people like these little trucks. They're cute. Let me pull one out here. Okay, they're metal. Let me take them down here. Give them a look over. Now, is that my style? No. But do I think it's cute? Yes. <laughs> I know a lot of you right now are going, oh, that's so sweet. And, you know, kind of sort of it is. Let's see, okay, now that's 20. Depends upon your budget, whether that would be a thumbs up or a thumbs down for you, whoops. But that's cute, that really is kind of cute. It's this color that, that I'm not too fond of. I, I just, I don't know, I just don't seem to want to go there uh, as far as uh, fall decor goes. Fall to me are all the beautiful fall tones but it still is pretty, as cute as could be. All right, let's see what this is right here. Oh, it's a lazy season. Isn't that cute? See, just goes around, you put that on the middle of your kitchen table. A bunch of stuff on there. That would be really, really sweet. And down here we have a little welcome mat, maybe outside your front door, back door, or, um, Definitely, you could put that um, at your kitchen sink or in front of your stove. Very sweet. All right, let's look down here a little bit. Okay, there's some table runners. I like their background here. It's kind of pretty. I think that's really, really nice. I might take a screenshot of that. All right, and here's a few little pumpkins. Now, I was thinking, I thought it'd be a cute idea to get a basket and fill them with these um, fun little stuffed pumpkins like that, just so that my, uh, my little Everett, when he comes over, he loves to get into new things that he sees. And that, you know, he could just have a fun time with it all day long. And then at the end of the day, collect it all and put it away. Look how each one of these has a cute little um, leaf on it. Which one is different? This one says grateful, blessed, and thankful. Sweet are those. I love them. I absolutely love them. Eight dollars a piece. And then you have these pretty, pretty uh, pillows at the end here. Okay, well, a lot of you know how much I love the 4th of July. This is all on clearance every bit of it. Oh, would you look at this. Okay, I don't know if I can go home without this. Look at him. Oh, he's just the cutest thing. 11. All right, he is 14, so let's see. 14 is $7, yep. All right, I'm definitely taking him home. <laughs> All right, what else we got here? Oh, we got a bunch of American flags. You can always use those. This is pretty. And that's 14. Is that the same thing? 14, seven dollars. So yeah, we're taking 50% off. These are cute to have. I don't want too much to hang. All right, what else do we have here? These are very sweet. Go bicycles. Oh, these are nice. Look at these great big bows. They're huge nice long tails on them okay I like that oh look in the middle they have that little tin um, white star very cute up oh, 14 so those are seven dollars 
I like that a lot. Oh, here's some more bunting. Guys, bunting goes a long way. If you have a deck or somewhere where you can put it, you will want to have bunting because it's just beautiful. These are the cutest, cutest things. Okay, now I like this. Of course I like that. Love my country. Love my country. These are adorable things. Just precious. Here's a flag right here. Are the flags on sale too? Wow. We just bought one. That's worth it. If that's $6, I'm going to put that in here. My husband may want that. Oh, and this is cute. Say. Now that is something I can put on the sill of the deck. Let's see how much that is. That's eight. So that's four dollars. Bustle. These are nice. Oh, and they have them in red too down here. Gosh, I think I'm more excited about the fourth of July. <laughs> well, if you need fourth of July stuff at half price, you need to get yourself to a big lots. Alright, next stop is uh, Sharp Shoppers. Do y'all have a Sharp Shoppers? <laughs> it's hard to say. A Sharp Shoppers near you. It's a grocery outlet. And it is so fun. Alright, here's some Tropicana. You can see there are 24 of them in a pack. Good size. And those are $5.99. So that's pretty good. And, wow, they just, I mean, there's so much stuff in this store. So much. It's hard to talk in here, so we'll see how much I can do. <laughs>
these are kind of nice. These um, shells, you don't always see those. And those are 79 cents. Oh, we have here. We have Henry de Gatti. Also 79 cents. That's pretty good. That's a lot of pasta, guys. Okay, so the weirdest thing just happened. We're on our way home from going miles away to do some shopping <laughs> and we're at a stoplight and who's in front of us but our son Joey and his wife and our new little grandson. And so we called them and they were right in front of us at the stoplight. And um, we called them and they said they were just gonna go over and have some lunch. And Lou and I have been saying how hungry we were all the way home, it was like an hour drive. So here we are all together. Oh, let me see. Let me see. Wait a minute, Joe. Hang on. Oh. Gotta get a little special picture. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> He's the cutest thing in the world. Oh, this is just too cool. This is just too cool. Hi, everybody. Oh, my goodness. It has been a fabulous day. Um, seeing Joey and Sonia and little baby Micah. <laughs> That was just such a God thing, you know? There we were, just literally sitting at the light, and Lou says, hey, isn't that Joey's car? I said, what? And I looked at it, and sure enough, and, and, and Lou said he was looking through the mirror, and he said he saw Joey. So, you know, and I guess this was Joe's day off. I'm, I'm not sure how that all worked, but yeah, we were right behind him, ready to turn left, and so we called him, or he called us, and he said, yeah, they were just so hungry and they had been busy all, all morning and that they were taking their first outing with little baby Micah and going to try a restaurant. So we said, well, gosh, we're starving too. We've been gone for hours and we're just kind of driving back into town. And we all decided to just stop and have lunch together. And oh, the baby was so precious. He didn't even make a beep, not nothing. He just sat there. He slept through the whole meal and we were all able to have such an incredibly wonderful, joyous time together as a family. Um, you know, the Lord works those things out so perfectly, better than anything you or I could ever possibly um, work out. It's just his way. But let me just turn you around here real quick and I will show you what I got at Sharp Shopper. What a store. And you'll be surprised at how little I brought home. Know why I can't explain it um, I should have brought like two carts of stuff home but I didn't so anyway here we go all right I have been looking for some whole wheat flour so sharp shopper uh, was okay I, yeah 48 cents a pound so 306 for um, I don't know over six pounds of really nice uh, fine I like the fine whole wheat. Um, it's just a little bit softer. So for baking bread, I really like that. I got one can of Goya pinto beans, but I'm gonna, um, I think I have a recipe that I can use that for. I got some safflower, oh, safflower. Some saff instant yeast. Um, so that will go into my freezer because that's where I keep it. Up here, yes, I did buy a bunch of those cookie packages for 99 cents. You can't get them cheaper than that anywhere. Not even on the, the deepest of sales have I ever seen it for 99 cents. And I do like to use these, um, especially with my little grandson Everett. Oh, he loves to make cookies with Oma. So these little package things are perfect. We usually take a peanut butter one and a chocolate chip one and put them together and um, make a little creation. Okay, so, and then just because I happen to see it, and as soon as you see something, sometimes you think, ooh, that sounds so good, I gotta have those. So I just bought this small bag of um, hickory barbecue chips. Uh, those were, yeah, 99 cents, so not too bad there. The peanut butter pretzel nuggets, we love those, and those were, those are never cheap. They're never cheap anywhere. And they're usually well over six, sometimes seven or eight dollars. These were 
So, um, yeah, those are just a good little snack. Uh, I did get some bananas. I think these were about 49 cents a pound, and that's about your Aldi price, so that's good. And then down here, I did go ahead and get those shells, which were 79, there it is, 79 cents. Um, yeah, I have a recipe that I can use this with. And look at this, oh, I thought this was so cool. Smoked chili sea salt. So I'm anxious. I'm either, either gonna try this myself or I'm gonna give it to one of my daughter-in-laws, um, see who would like to have that and give that a try, I don't know. And then this, I have been wanting to get this for quite a while. I know it's imitation, uh, but I am gonna give it a try. It's double strength, clear vanilla. I like clear vanilla because um, sometimes if I wanna make a super, super white frosting, I like the clear vanilla because once you add the brown vanilla, you know, your frosting turns on you. It doesn't stay pure white. And these are just some uh, really cute little fall sprinkles that I got. Those will be cute on a cake or some cupcakes or some cookies. I have a wonderful cookie recipe coming up for you guys. And I think, uh, since I have these, I might just use them. I went ahead and got a little bit of this chicken gravy mix. We'll see what I can create with that. I don't know why I got them, but something told me to get them, so I did. All right, and then these cute little things for like Bible markers, I love them. And they're magnetic, ma magnetic. so um, I'm anxious to have those. Look how beautiful they are. They still in no, I am with you always, Matthew 28, 20. The, that's my favorite verse in the whole Bible. Trust in the Lord. And do you know that I am with you always, even to the end of time? That verse, 28, 20, has been my favorite verse since I was a child. Yep, since a child. Uh, love never fails, rejoice always, and just grace. And I think the other package is exactly, oh no, it is different. Oh no, it's the same, that was the back end of it. Oh, they're different on the back, they're pretty. Aren't they feminine? I think they're so pretty, so I'm anxious to use those. And then, you know I got these. I was so excited, 99 cents a piece. You can't beat that with a stick. You can't, you just can't. All right, look at all the flavors I got. Here's coconut, root beer. I have a recipe coming up for you guys. Yes, I do. Um, marshmallow, you know how much I like that marshmallow flavor. So there, I got three more. Cake batter, get out of here. Cake batter, that is gonna be delicious. And I got some almond, some intense almond flavor. Oh yeah, some butter. That could be good in a frosting. And some orange oil, yep, for Christmas. Um, even some Thanksgiving things. I think that'll work just perfectly. All right, that is my haul from Sharp Shopper. Yeah. All right, if you have one near you, get over there, see what you can find. All right, in my Big Lots haul, let me show you what I got. Again, kind of a small haul. I did go ahead and get those red placemats. Um, I think they'll be very, very cute for, um, uh, like I said, Christmas, or if I want to do something a little more casual, or of course, 4th of July, and um, let's see, Christmas, 4th of July, oh, Valentine's Day, yeah. So I think they're kind of casual because of the jute here on the side, uh, but I kind of like that. I kind of, I think that'll be kind of nice. And I did get my rooster. Look how cute he is. He will look so adorable next year with my, uh, the rest of my decor. Oh guys, I could have gone crazy on that aisle. I really had to hold myself back. All right, um, I did go ahead and get those napkins, those happy harvest napkins and these beautiful, thankful, Plates. I just thought those were so pretty. It's not what I'm using for my Thanksgiving table. Um, but we, you know, often have company and these are a good size plate. And I just like that they, that they say thankful and that they're there, that they're that pretty green color with this little white kind of lacy leafy look to them. So I thought for $3, that was a deal. That was a deal. Okay, and I did go ahead and get that little book book looking thing, you know, if I can hold on just a second here. There we go. The little black tie, grateful, thankful, and blessed. And um, I think, we're, I'm not sure what I'll end up doing with this, but um, I am going to do a fall decorate with me. Um, 
and my dining room, mostly my dining room table or my dining room. So you'll be seeing that there, oh yeah, very, very soon actually. And I did go ahead and get this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful candle called Pumpkin Patch. And look at the pretty top on it. Isn't that cute? Yeah, and it's a three wick and it is pumpkin spice latte. The smell of it, it's absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna pop him right up there for the moment. And then this cute little pumpkin. But that rooster, I, I would have to say that rooster was worth it. He was worth it. And the candle, the candle and the rooster. Those two things make me happy. So um, there we go. All right, I wanna thank you so much for joining me today. Um, yeah, on our, our little field trip. We took a field trip today. Field trips are fun. Yeah, they're expensive too, but they're fun. <laughs> and especially, particularly seeing my son and my daughter-in-law and my little grandson. Oh boy, that was such a treat. I want to go to bed with a smile tonight. Okay, thank you so much. I will see you guys so, so soon. I have a collaboration coming up that you guys are going to love. I promise, I promise you're going to love it. Yes. I promise that you are indeed going to love it. And that should be coming up uh, next week sometime. Yeah, so I need to hurry up. I need to get going here. What am I doing? So in the meantime, I gotta say goodbye, guys. I got so much to do. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, if, you, if you like the content today, please press that like button. It really helps my channel. It really helps my channel. So if you've already watched the video and you're at the end and you think, hmm, I didn't press that like, I better go back and press that like button. I would so much appreciate it. I would so much appreciate it if you could do that for me. And if you're just coming through for the first time and you say, hmm, well, that sounds kind of interesting. Go back, look through some of my videos and see if it might Super 60 might be a place you, you might like to uh, park yourself once in a while and watch. Um, and press that um, button so that you can be a part of my my um, subscriber families. Yeah, I would love to have you be here. It would be a lot of fun. And share it. Oh, just share it as best you can. Let's get Super at 60 out there. <laughs> Thank you all again so very much. I appreciate each and every one of you. Bye now. Lord bless.